Hi, welcome to Hari Technofax YouTube channel. In this video, we can learn about ISO 26262 concept. What is ISO 26262? ISO 26262 is a functional safety standard used in automotive industry. It applies to electric or electronic systems for on-road vehicles. As per ISO 26262, functional safety is defined as it's a absence of unreasonable risk due to hazards caused by malfunctioning behavior of electrical or electronic systems. So here you can see it's a absence of unreasonable risk due to hazards. So here hazards in the sense harm to the passenger or the driver or the vehicle caused by malfunctioning behavior which means like unintended errors or system failures in the electrical or electronic systems. So ISO 26262 has 10 chapters. Now we can see where this functional safety applies in the product development. Here examples are in requirement phase, design phase, implementation phase, testing phase, verification and validation phase. Now we can see why ISO 26262 is important because it provides safety to the passengers or the driver and it provides safety to the vehicle to reduce the damage of the vehicle when accident happened. So if we apply ISO 262 standards, we can avoid and control the systematic failures and we can also detect the hardware failures. Now we can see in ISO 262, one of the main important concept, ASIL. What is ASIL? ASIL stands for Automotive Safety Integrity Level. So we have four ASIL levels. One is ASIL A, ASIL B, ASIL C and ASIL D. If we apply these ASIL levels in the car components, so we can see examples for ASIL A, it's a rear light. ASIL B, it's a headlights or rear view camera. ASIL C, it's a engine management or active suspension. ACLD we can apply for power steering, airbag or anti-lock braking systems. Now we can apply these ISO 26262 standards. ACLA is the minimum level of risk and ACLD is the maximum level of risk. Suppose in rear light if any unintended error happened, so there is no impact for the passengers or the drivers. So based on that risk level, we can derive this ACIL. So we can measure ACIL levels based on three parameters. Those are severity, exposure and controllability. So here severity is, it measures the system failure or the people or the vehicle. So it measures S0, S1, S2, S3. So which means like S0 means no injuries. S1 means light to moderate injuries. S2 is severe to life threatening but survival. S3 is life threatening to fatal injuries. So another parameter exposure which says how frequent it can happen. So we can measure it in the E0, E1, E2, E3, E4. So here E0 says like very rare or unlikely. E1 is very low probability. E2 is low probability, E3 is medium probability and E4 is high probability. So now another parameter is controllability. So we can measure in C0, C1, C2, C3. So controllability says like when the hazard or failure occurs, how much possibility to control by the driver are external measures. So here C0 measures like we can control in general, C1 says simply we can control c2 says normally we can control c3 says it is very difficult to control if we apply those three parameters here we can see the minimum level of risk is in the rear light component so it belongs to the ACLA so if we compare to the ACLA and ACLB so the risk is little high compared to A and if we compare to AB if we compare to ACLC, so the risk is more than AB and if we compare to ACLD, the risk is maximum level. 
So based on the Cecil levels, this ISO 26262 compliance get strict from one level to another level. And based on these ACL levels, and based on this maximum risk, risk level, so they will derive the what are the tools we need to use for the development or testing, and what are the quality process we need to maintain to provide the automotive safety standards. That's all about this concept. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe, share and like the videos.